What's up everyone? So uh, I recently picked up this Tormach. It's a uh, 1100 MX. It's a used one. Got it from uh, James the Hacksmith, which is pretty cool. Anyways, I haven't done a video on it yet, but this is a second channel, so whatever. There might be one on the main channel. Still deciding on that. But today, I'm going to be making something on it. So I've been working on a few uh, air leaks and uh, just debugging a couple of things. There's still some weird stuff going on with the computer, but I can talk about that in a bit. Anyways, uh, I have a project I want to do, and that project requires some pre-side projects. I'm going to be making some soft jaws for this crappy Amazon vise that actually is working pretty well. Um, so I'm going to take this off, measure it, and then uh, mill some out of aluminum. Now the reason I'm doing this is I have the perfect stock to make a set of these, so and I have a bunch of them so I can mess up. I'm just going to take one of these off so I can cat it up, just replicate it. And for those that don't know, soft jaws, they're all basically, you know, a softer material that won't damage the thing you're working on, but there's another kind of definition, and that is they're jaws that you can machine. So, like, I can actually cut a pattern in, and it'll hold whatever piece, odd-shaped piece, that I'm going to be working on versus just having a, a flat surface. So that's the reason I'm making them. So like I said, this is very simple. It's just a uh, rectangle, different thicknesses. This thickness doesn't even really matter, but I'll probably replicate the whole depth and everything because I know that works. And whatever makes sense for the width, I'll copy this as close as possible. So this is what I've come up with. It's a very quick CAD. You see that took me about two minutes, uh, maybe that. And I've actually gone ahead and designed this for manufacturing. And this is a representation of what my stock is going to be. So it's a, um, I think four inch by four inch or 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter piece of aluminum that is, uh, three quarter inch thick. Anyways, that's two of them, so both of them can be done in one process. So I've been uh, doing some work on the machine. I've been getting some tools installed that I'm gonna use for this. Um, I've got the tool changer set up with uh, a few different tools that I think will work. We put 18 here. Do I wanna load it? Yes. So this is a face mill, that's the first tool, and then in here, uh, there's a bunch of tools in loaded in already, so I've just been ignoring them, and uh, I guess tool 18 is that one, and I've got to set the length, and I've done that for all these other tools, I think these 60 ones are the ones I've had to set the heights, that's for all these, so I've got a uh, four flute, mill, three-quarter inch, a drill, a chamfer tool. This drill is not being used. I was already in here. And then a spot drill and the face mill. That's all I'm going to be using. So I'm going to set up the uh, cam process in Fusion and I'll show you what that looks like. Fusion already has a model for this machine, which is neat. Got the stock here. Mine's actually in a vise, but that doesn't matter. It's going to complain about some things drilling into the table, but I know it won't. So first operation, it's a face mill, you can see the pattern here. And then we do the spot drill. It says the tool here, numbers here, which is kind of cool. I don't think I did this the right way. I need to learn the proper way to do this. But um, it's gonna spot drill these. 
Drill them fully with the seven and a half millimeter drill. That's the size of the hole. Then we're gonna bore out for the head of the fastener, tool path around the outside. And then finally, for fun, we're just gonna chain for the edges because we can actually simulate it really quick. So like I said, it's gonna complain that uh, I'm drilling into the table, but I'm not actually drilling into the table. So faces off a couple of millimeters because that's the size of my stock originally. Spot drill, regular drill, bore out those holes, adaptive uh, clearing the rest of it. I think I need to make that a little bit less aggressive, so I'm going to do that first. And then chain for it. And after that whole process is done, I'm going to flip it over and just face mill off the bottom so that we've got, I'll put them in the vise again, get the surface height and face mill the top so that we just end up with two individual parts that'll be clamped together inside the vise. Let's try it out. I've got to use the old vise. To make the new ones. So we're just finding the corner right now. Now I'll find the Z top, but we're going to do a dry run. So I'm actually going to offset it. Yeah. I'm going to offset it that amount. So the tool is actually going to think the top of the workpiece is at the top of this. So it's not going to touch anything down here, hopefully. Okay, so we've set our work offsets, this corner, this, well, this height, for the dry run. Okay, so if I load the uh, G-code in, this is the one we just exported from Fusion onto the SD card. Now this is what's amazing about modern machines, they can actually show you. I'm used to uh, <laughs> ones like that and that which you're just kind of guessing, but this is great. You can actually see the tool path, which is honestly super helpful. Uh, so anyways, there's our tool path. Um, we've set the tool height. We can actually give this a dry run. Okay, I've got the coolant off. Let's see what happens. There should be no problems. Okay, so now I need to set the actual height. Now that we've done the test, everything seemed fine. So, we just need to probe this top surface. Let's hit this here. Forgot to say that it was uh, tool 99, because that's what the probe is. Yes, we know. Okay, now we can do it. Just like that. I need to set you up somewhere where you'll actually be able to see because this 
this, uh, these windows get absolutely blasted with coolant. So you might not be able to see a lot. chamfer is pretty chattery. I think it's I think it's this bit. I think it's kind of worn out. But other than that, we have two parts. That was pretty awesome. No issues. Had to play with the feeds a little bit, but you always do. First time. At least I do. So, let's uh take that out. We'll have a look at it, we'll flip it around, we'll do the bottom. So I never understand, so yeah, the, that's very chattery on that bit, that's okay, whatever. It doesn't really matter. But I never understand why I screw up the chamfers, always. Originally I had to 0.5 in width, and I did some tests on a piece, I can't remember. And then the thing, it looked fine, but I made it even smaller. But look, that's like, it's like four millimeters. And, uh, oh, the inside ones are good. Inside ones didn't chatter as much. Weird. So I don't understand why they're always huge. I literally had it set, I think, to zero <laughs> chamfers, uh, 0.2 millimeter, and it's still giant, so. I always do something wrong, I gotta figure it out. I gotta do a bunch of tests and see what happens. Well, it was shooting some piece of metal around. I probably should have made that last pass a little bit deeper. Check this out. Made some uh, aluminum foil. So that's what was shooting all around. But there they are. Two pieces. Not bad for uh, the first parts cut on this. I was a bit aggressive in the cutting, but... Why not? Oh, I guess I gotta install them. All right, they fit and uh, they look good and I'll be able to machine whatever I want into these and hold whatever I want. And it only takes about 25 minutes to machine more if I want to. So that's pretty cool. So anyways, everyone, uh, thanks for watching. New machine, really cool, making chips. And stay tuned on the main channel. I will be releasing a video probably soon and you'll see why I made these, uh, these soft jaws because as always whenever I get a new machine or I do something I like to make some stuff maybe sell a couple of things so keep an eye out there I know some of you like to support the channel that way and I think it's kind of a fun way to test the machine so I'll be selling something making something out of this machine it'll be cool anyways everyone thanks for watching and uh see ya <laughs>